Hey guys, I heard you've been having trouble with Apple mobile devices. Well, today I'm going to fix that problem. It took me it took me a few days to solve it, but here it is. First, type in here, services. Click on the first one that comes up. And then click on Apple mobile devices. Right click, properties. And then make sure it's automatic. If it's not automatic, change it right now. That has to, must be automatic. And then apply. Okay. And then while your iPod's in there, your iPod has to be in, you start the service. I don't have it because I've already done it, but you start the service while your iPod's in there. That's it for people who have no error, but some people have errors when they're trying to do it, such as an error called 1067. Um, the path of something corrupted, yeah, something like that. Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Well, first go to search on start and type in uninstall. Click on uninstall a program and then click search a program and just search Apple. That's it. Apple mobile device support. You're gonna want to get rid of that one, that little white square in that one. Okay, just get rid of that one. Uninstall. Yes, but I've already done it, so I won't do it. And then once you've done that, you need to get a new iTunes, and that's gonna be iTunes 64. Okay, so it's gonna be in my documents. So let me just get it out of my documents. And then extract it. Sounds pretty weird, but you gotta extract it. Just extract it to your desktop. Alright. Once you're done there, you're gonna have these these four files. Oh you might have these bonjour, but don't worry about that one, these four files. Now create a folder for them. You have to create a folder. New folder. And name it iTunes iTunes Backup. Alright, once you've named that, I've already have it, so yeah, you put these four files in there. Once they're in there, you're gonna have them. Alright, now you're gonna wanna click, uh, you're gonna wanna actually install Apple Mobile Device Support. That's the one you install. So install that one. I've already done it, so I don't need to. Install it, and then after that, just reinstall your computer and you're good to go. But there's also one other thing if you've got a program called Mega Key, you have to get rid of it. Un uninstall it. You still have your premium access to Mega Upload, but you have to uninstall it. Alright, thanks for watching.